transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to look here at the gold market that we were talking about yesterday right on the close, uh, or well, the close of the program yesterday. We were looking at this number right up here at uh, 128.0180. The high was 121.080, and as you can see, the ABCD measured to 28.02. Now, the market's broken just a little bit since that level just about $60, and I think this is going to be a, probably a major top in the gold market, so what I would be watching is for to see an ABCD-type retracement here over the next day or so, two days, one day, whatever it happens to be. But we have involatility now in all of these markets, as we've been saying. It's going to continue and continue and continue. Okay, the next position that we have on here, by the way, in that Dow Jones, let me give you the exact number, 421.76. Okay, that's a 300-point rally off the bottom, folks. You can see it's got one heck of a run here. So watch that closely because if, if it can get above here, that would actually be a pretty good sign. But, boy, I don't know if it can or not. But, you know, I stand surprised on a lot of different things. Okay, now the next one we want to take a look at the positions that we have on is the tr British pound. And as you mentioned yesterday, we made it at ABCD right up here at 3030 to add another contract if you wanted to. And so that's what uh, that's what's happened. And you can see there was the original sale up here. And here's where we are now. And we're not very far away now, folks, from our long term objective. Uh, objective here we'll get the long term daily up here so we can see it we're not going to be far away as you can see here move it over just a, a, uh, we did that on the weekly I'm sorry give me a second yeah here's where we want to go okay what we were saying is the possibility of this move like this being the, like that move like that okay that means that your price objective on this would be down here at 123 now we're more than halfway through there okay so uh, I think it's got a chance so but just stop at 130 and let her rip and the worst thing that happens is you make uh, $3,500 the right if the right thing happens is you make uh, a couple times that and so that's what it looks like it looks just like that one to me so I would take a look at it the exact 786 didn't go anywhere Okay, now the silver market. Very interesting in silver, folks. This was telling you that things were going to be really nasty today. And we mentioned this yesterday because yesterday, excuse me, yes, it was, it was actually, it was actually Tuesday night when it made the, uh, let me get this up here, Tuesday night when it made the 78% retracement. Let me push this up a little bit. We made the 78% retracement right here. Okay, you, you'll be able to see it when I, draw it in here with the uh, there it is hit it to the exact tick and now we've made the ABCD on the long term chart down here so we could get a rally here in in silver just from this ABCD on this uh, hourly chart quickly looking at it from the daily standpoint you'll be able to see well I have to kick this in just a second here to refresh it because I don't look at the daily that often but there's your there's your ABCD. Not only that, but it's coming down into these old high areas. So this is, if you like silver, this is probably a good shot to buy at here with risk in about 40 cents because that is an ABCD, you know, pretty good shape, I think. Let's just check it for kicks and giggles. We see we're at the 50% of that move. And then we'll go back and look at this to see if it is a 3A2 off of this move. And that comes in down a little bit more, down around 37. But that is the ABCD. That's the one that 
you know, I look at the hourly charts. The daily just confirms what I'm looking at. But it's got to hold this level, that's for sure. Otherwise, who knows? And and not many people do. Okay, now let's get over here to look at a couple others here. The stop and P. Here's where we are over here. We broke down. Let's just get this up here on the hourly so you can see that we've broken down through the big support here. Oh, we we're really close to an ABCD 1.618, folks. I just realized that. The end of the world might be delayed. Oh, sorry. Bad joke, Larry. Bad joke. All right. These are, this is what we've done over the last 10 days. Remember, that was the big move when we went short to Dow right there. There was your ABCD. Okay, that means we've got a, an ABCD forming here. In this one, it's already gone through it. So let's just, there's your high right here. We're going to measure right here. And that comes in right here at 77. Okay, now you see we've went quite a bit lower than 77. We've got down what we've done here. As you can see, uh, this 1.618, all I'm doing right now is I'm looking at this range right there. And that tells me that 1.618 on that measured it down to this level right here. This was the early morning high, folks. This little, this was a five-hour rally. I, right before the market opened, I said, wow, this has got to be sold. And I didn't get it sold. Uh, only, okay, then that's what we're looking at. Now, the, the, the S&P has rallied uh, 25 pip, 25 points. So what I... We're very close. You see these double ABCDs down here? That's going to be major support here, folks. We're going to bring this over here to see where you are because we're going to have some vicious rallies, and you want to be ready for them, you know, when they happen. So we've gone far below our price level. Okay, now there, I don't see any gaps in here uh, to make this work, but I want to see if this made to 1.27. So what I'm going to do, it didn't. I can tell you that right now, 1.27. One, two, seven. Well, I've only got a minute to go here. And then Mr. Pat Chapman will take off there. It's that, ooh, that came almost exactly to the level. So expect a rally. The last rally we had in the S&P rallied uh, 20, 21 handles. So you take 21 handles onto uh, 51. 21 takes you to, 51, takes you to 71. Watch 57, 21. In the in the S and oh that might even be a three A two let's just double check from this high that right there yeah there is there's what you're looking at there's a key level here to watch here is fifty seven seventy six that's the key level to watch here the next few minutes in the uh, hours dailies whatever it happens to be I think those are the main positions that we had the wheat that we that we were doing worked out really nicely. Uh, we took out a little over $1,200. If uh, Excuse me. Let's try that again. Hold on one second. There's where we are here with this. Now, we, we mentioned here that this was a 382 on the long-term daily, which, in fact, it was. And then we came all the way back and matched these lows down in here. And as you can see, all we're doing now is chopping around. So longer term. Wheat might still have a pretty good chance to come in here, but I don't see any really clear ABCD patterns like we saw here and like we saw here on the daily, okay? So we're going to turn this over to our good friend, Mr. Basil Chapman here, and we'll see you all tomorrow, and may God bless and have a wonderful Halloween tonight. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. 
Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Okay, folks, I'm back. I feel like the guy in, what was his name, Scarface? Scarface? Was it Scarface? So I tried, no, it was in uh, Godfather. He says, I try to get out of the business, but they keep pulling me back in. Well, they don't have to pull very far because I love this business. Let's take a look here at some of these other things we're looking at, all right? Now, the good part about this, if you uh, just watch the Russell, and I'll tell you why. The Russell has already made the 382 retracement of the high here last night it's already made that one okay that's a really good sign but remember we got some little things to look at here remember there's a long way to go folks it's only 115 here so let's take a quick look now doing short term but short term leads to the things that really help okay here's where we are we're looking at this number is 42176 that's only 60 dow points from where we're supposed to be now it's been straight up look at that there's been Look at it. See, once that bottom was formed right down here, I don't see any reason for that bottom formed on this little third. Well, there's really not very much here. You see, once it takes off, it doesn't even give any any indication of a 382 or anything. So this is uh, it would be nice if you had one, but there's nothing there. So we're watching. It's almost there. It's up into this area right here. So watch this level right here, 42176. Now, the Dow is still going to be down about 150 points at that time because it was down about 140 so this is going to be real real, real critical and the reason why is the fact that uh, you know the, these people are have been used to buying on these dips and by golly this is a dip that's worked and it looks pretty good so watch this number going to be a very very important the number on the S&P is right there at 5777 watch that now this is a little bit longer term that was eight minutes. This is 13 minutes. So all I'm going to do now is to see all I'm doing is taking this 20-point rally that we had here and see if it's going to repeat up here at the 382. And that comes in at 57.77. That's 10 handles from where we are. Now, that's not very much. However, I see here on the clock we have a little something right here. So let's go down to the mini. Let's just put the AI in here just for kicks and giggles. Oh, my goodness. We might have made a pretty good bottom in here today. Look at this. This thing is inverted. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Move this over like this. Put this in and invert it. All this inversion means, folks, is that the vibration that's there has inverted. Just like when you look in the mirror, turn it backwards. Same things happen with cycles. Sometimes they go up. Sometimes they go down. 
And isn't, I, I hate to say this, folks, but this is not a very poor fit. Look at this. There was your high coming in early in the morning. I'll bet you a nickel to a donut that that was probably exactly 382 off of that high of 20 points. You measure it down and, oops, sorry, it went to the 50%, and then down it came, and there's your little bottom in here. So it looks like it's going to be up for the rest of the day. I don't know if that's going to happen. All I know, if you go below here, it ain't going to be up the rest of the day, but it's acting pretty good. Two things here that give you a little bit of hope from the long side. And first one is you had a big run up here. You have a sharp pullback. But that sharp pullback probably went, that's 50%, I can tell you that right now. Yeah, here, well, the difference between these is only two points. So there's the 382, there's your 50%. So that's held. Now the bottoms are higher in here. We're starting to make higher highs. So this could have been a really good buy down in here. I hadn't looked at this uh, all morning. Now, someone's asked me to take a look at the bond market, which I'm still bearish on. I think I'll be bearish on those until cows come home even though there will be a rally someday maybe not in my lifetime and i haven't looked at it so let me get this up here um oh, look at the hourly chart they're probably rallying like heck today sure enough they are oh look where they're coming from there's low today's low was right at the seven eight percent return oh that's almost a head and shoulders this is not a head and shoulders folks let me tell you why see how the left shoulder right here this goes below, the right shoulder goes below that, so that's not a good head and shoulders. What it is, is a 78% retracement of the high that we made right back here. Remember, folks, we just hit uh, 116.23, uh, and I haven't really looked at bonds, as you can imagine here, but they've rallied uh, a whole point here today, which is pretty good. Uh, let's look at the AI on this here for just a second, and we'll see if uh, had anything going there. No, I got the wrong, I have to do it with the other... That's not important. Oh, here's something there. This, doing what we watch, there's your, I'll bet you that's a 382 right there in the bonds. Let's just double check. And, oh boy, almost to the exact tick. Oh, no, this is drawn wrong. See, this is sensitive tool that's just not working right. Uh, no, it doesn't make the 382. On that one, it misses that by a couple points. It makes a 382 on this one, I'm pretty sure, but you got to use the lower one. That's the only way you can do it. Yeah, that's that's what that's doing. Now it's going up a little bit. But let's go back to that hourly chart because we did have something that uh, we've come down here. From Remember, this, this high we made up here was at 127. We dropped 11 points, folks, 11 points. And now you can see here, we probably made some type of an ABCD bottom down in here. Let's just double check to see how close we came to it. Uh, we missed it by how much? Uh, four pips from being the exact, uh, exact low in here. So we'll find out what's going to happen. I'm going to check that AI just for kicks and giggles because I want to see what it uh, what it looks like. What I See, this is a December, you see. And I have to do it on the continuation because all these are run on continuation. So I put this up. Uh, this is inverted also. You can see here it's coming down. You see how it's making supposed to be making a high here. Now it's making low. So all I do is I go in and I check this and I move this over. And all I do is invert this. And you'll see that... Uh, there was the low right here, and uh, now we're supposed to be going up. Uh oh, we got a problem somewhere. Uh, that's Donald Trump. Don no, 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 it's, it's election stuff, honey. That's Don, Don, Donald J. Trump is calling me. He's wondered why I haven't voted for him three times. Um, okay, uh, I will be glad when this is all over, folks. All right, let's just look at this on a little longer term basis here go down to see what's happened here on the downside. So from the high we made back here, you see we made the ABCD to the downside. Oh, that was a that's actually a pretty good three drive to a bottom, folks, too. That was one I probably might have paid attention to, but I got so much other stuff to do and I'm not feeling too great. So that's neither here nor there. Let's pay attention to what we're watching here because uh, this this says we could be going up and this over here tells us that we may be going up. So I I like the way this is acting here in the Dow Jones. I actually do. Gosh, look at this. We had a low 
of uh, 418, folks. We're 300 points higher already. And there's your, there's your 382 on the high from yesterday. Let's get down so you can see it. There's your high yesterday, all right? Okay, so there's there's your high coming in right here. This is what you got to be watching. Forget that AI, because that only works. Well, nothing works there. Only all of it works about sixty percent of the time. But we're almost there, right now. We'll stay on the line here and see if we can get this done. Let's see what our time is here, and we'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, we're looking at this. Uh, Basil has a little trouble with Skype today, so I am doing okay. So I think I can finish up the show today if I... Don't get too excited and don't uh, raise my voice much. I hope you can hear me clear enough. 
Uh, there's a number we're looking at. I've got the beeper in it, 42176. Now, I don't have any ABCD setting in here, but folks, I like 382s so much that uh, I would probably think that would be a pretty good spot to do it. That's, you know, I can't ask for much more than that. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. The last time we had a pretty good rally here in the Dow Jones was right here. You can see here we rallied from, uh, shucks, I'm going to get it really close. That distance was the rally. Yeah, that's pretty close. And this rally here, oh, going to be really close to that too. So that's going to be pretty close. To, you got to pay attention to that one, folks. That's 42176. Okay. All right. Now let's go another one that I sent out in the video this morning when I had voice. Not much of a voice. It was only a three-minute video. But one of the things that we focused on was the crude oil because – we were saying that had a really good chance of making this ABCD up here at the 50% level at 69.63. The high was 69.71. Uh, so it was only against you $90. And now you see it's broken down pretty hard here to the downside. Remember, this is a 13 minute chart. You can see you don't have any 382s in here at all, but you are coming down now to test this next to see if this market's going to have legs because it has legs i mean it's it's rallied three dollars folks that's not a you know you can see here we've had some pretty good runs here i've already done the 382s on this thing in the video so you'll see we we were watching these all the way you know there was your first one right there there is your second one right there a little below the 382 this one is exactly 382 and it held twice so there's what you want to be watching to see if we get below this, then, you know, all bets are off. So the, the, what we're looking at right now is you want to see what this pullback is going to be. Now, the other pullbacks that we've had here in the crude oil, this is just over the last couple of days, but these markets repeat over and over again. The last pullback that we had was right there. That distance, This is where these harmonic numbers come from. There it is right there. Oops. Oh, misses this one by. How much does it miss it by? <laughs> Hardly anything. And now we're looking at it to come in right there. So there's your there's your game plan. If you're bullish on this stuff, watch it right here. So what we're going to do now is we want to see what the next 382 is going to be off the last major bottom. Okay, the last major bottom we had was right here. And as you can see, it's already come down through that. So the, this bottom is more important than that bottom because it took longer. Well, about the same time, but it was a deeper cut. So you drop down more than a dollar a barrel here. So that's the one you have to count, all right, from. All right, and that'll that'll be two reasons. One, if you take that, let's just clean this up here. Let's tell you some of the secret stuff that the Elliott Wave guys don't know. There's your first ABCD pattern comes in right up there, okay? But you have another one right here. This is the one that gets you to the promised land. You go from there to there to there. Misses it by just a hair, but this is the thing you want to measure it off of this. This is going to be your most important 382 because this is the – well, this one's a deep one too, but they're both equal. But we've already threw this one, so we know that that one's not working very well, and this was a big ABCD. So you've got to look at the last one, which was right here, and you'll see that we are setting on it Oh, just about – just about now, this is going to be really important right in here, folks. The low so far has only been 93. So this is going to be a, a chance here to see whether we're going to hold this level right here. The bad part is, folks, we do not have an ABCD coming in here at all. And that's what, you know, that's what you live in. That's what you live for is your ABCDs. These are the ones that, you know, really nice, easy to see. You know, my goodness, you just draw this in a little bit better. I sent this video out this morning at uh, uh, was through two thirty three o'clock in the morning, and and I took some medicine. God, I felt much better after I woke up, after sleeping another few hours. All right, now let's get up here to take a look at the old YM and see how we're doing. See if we're still getting there. Well, we have backed off a little bit. We haven't quite got there yet. Let's see if the S and P made seventy seven. And it's right here. Let's see how high we got in the S and P here. We only got as high as a 70. We were looking for 77. Now here, you see this should start going up, but look, you see how it's backing off here? This means that that beautiful fit that we had right here 
is not doing as what we thought. I'd like to see that have been and come in like that. So the only thing you can do now is watch this key time here at 1430. That's with an hour and a half to go. Watch that. If we close lower today, folks, you know, we're going lower. I mean, I, I don't see how we can't go any higher given this long-term chart. It's a doggone bearish. I just don't know how you can uh, do it. I've been asked to take a look. I actually haven't been asked, folks. I'm just going to do it because I know you're thinking about me. Let's take a look at Mr. Appel. It's been going down. Let's get that 60-minute up. and Let's see. It should be going down today. Yeah, it's down. Well, it's, about, it's up on the day now, believe it or not. Oh, my goodness. Apple actually made a buy signal. Son of a gun. If you like ABCDs, and I do, we're going to clean these out. And there's A. There's B. Let's check and see what it be. There's A, B. You know. Uh, nope. It missed it. It was supposed to go to 25.55, and it went to 26.31. So it missed it by 80 cents. So we won't be using ABCDs anymore unless I drew it wrong. The easiest way to do this, folks, this little tool just makes it easy. But to do the mathematics on this, to make it mathematically per, this is B and this is C. And the, the, the formula is this. You take B, uh, shucks. You take B plus C, and you go minus A, and that equals D. Okay, so you add B and C together and subtract A, which is right back here. Oh, you know what I could have uh, – that's the one you got to – you see, there is an A, B, C, D here right there, and there's another – a, B, C, D. Let me, let me, this looks awfully close. Let me look at this just to be safe here. I hate to be nitpicking, but I'm just doing the best I can. Yeah, 2563 is what it measures to. We got, came within uh, 60 cents of the, uh, yeah, 60 cents of the exact low. We're rallying a little bit now. Up on the day. That's pretty good. And that's what's moving the, uh, the old stop and pee here, but boy, it ain't moving much. Look at this, how it's coming down again. We missed that 382 on that one. Doesn't These markets are bearish, folks. Keep that in mind. We're going to take a break, okay? 877 927 6648. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, uh, as it looks right now, this is the Dow Jones here on this short-term chart here. Uh, it looks like we missed the 382 here by 20 Dow points. Uh, high was 21. Uh, 58, oh, 18 points. 21.58, we were looking at 421.76. Now, if you're part of the elite group that gets my secret sauce and all my videos, you'll know that you always shade it by one tick so that you're able to get filled. And if you believe that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh-oh, they've been sold, so you're out of luck. Okay, let's look at this from a devil's advocate, okay? This is a pretty good rally, folks. 300 points in the Dow, all right? So let's just assume that maybe this is a pretty good bottom. We don't know that, do we? But we're going to take a guess. First step is if this is really good, and we're going to be watching it right now, is if this is really good, it's going to hold the 382. And we're almost there. Uh, we're almost there. So let's watch this. Now, the 382 is down 125 Dow points here at 420.49, all right? So let's just move this out of the way. Ordinarily, I don't do stuff like this, but I do the same thing on the short term that I do in the long term, and that's what tries to get you to some of these things where you don't have to risk very much. Perfect example was the gold. Yesterday, right on the close, is setting at double 1.618 numbers at 1801 or 2801, 2802. We got to, we made a higher high on the day by one tick, folks. The other high had been 420, 80, 107, uh, and it made a higher high of 428.08, right when we were talking about it, and it dropped 60 bucks. Not a big deal. For longer term, shorter term, it's a big deal. This is what you want to watch here, 420.49. Now, uh, we're going to be here for a few more minutes, so I'm just going to put my little beeper in, and it's going to get there close because we're only a few ticks away. Remember, this is only eight minutes, but it took several hours. It took two hours to rally 300 points. That's a big move in the Dow, folks. So if it's any good, it's going to hold this little pullback right in here. I can tell you right now it's going to be difficult because the stop and P is not holding anything. It's already below the 78.6, you see? So get this. let's look at them on the same time frame. There's your eight-minute. See, look look how the Dow, the, the Dow rallied 300 points. All right, just to give you an example, this is the early morning, okay? The Dow rallied 300 points. The S&P can only rally 20. Oh, my gosh, that was exactly like this move here. That was 20 also, see? 5802, 1820, that's uh, 20 points. And this one here was uh, 51, 20, takes you to 71. And we got to... Uh, 7770 so those were these were equal rallies and so it's already through by quite a bit so the only hope you have well that's not a good word to use larry 
is to watch this Dow Jones to see if it'll hold this level right here at 420.49. It's got a chance. It certainly does because it's right here. And then also if you look at the Russell, now this is short term, but this is the stuff you can look at. Okay, here's, you can see here, I think we're going to be going lower in this. You can see just made the 382 of the overnight high. It's hit it twice. Now it's backing off. All right, so, but uh, the main thing is, is that, you know, the last time we had a 382, which was right, well, there was the 618 retracement on the daily, which was right there. We put that on the show yesterday. There it was, uh, excuse me, 50% is where it was. Not the, not that, uh, not the, uh, uh oh, there's something wrong with this. This has got bad data. One second, folks. Yeah, there it is right there. That hadn't uh, updated yet. There's the high yesterday. It was at 71. That's where we are now. And if we look at this on that same time frame, you'll see on the way back down, there's where we were, the big ABCD year yesterday. Now, this tells us that we had a 382 retracement here. That should tell us that we've made a bottom down in here somewhere. Let's just double check. There it is right there. Oh, it went way below the 1.618. Not a good sign. And then you had another 382 that happened in the middle of the night. Oh, no, it happened this morning right on the open. I'll be darn. There it is right there, 52.50. Oh, I put that one in the video. Yes, I did. I said there was a 382 right there. And then we've come down really hard. And then I do see a potential ABCD that made a bottom down in here. And we'll see if that's going to do anything because I really like to see it rally. That's an ABCD. We get a little bit of a rally. But here again, it's already backed off of the 382. The only one that hasn't, of course, and the Dow Jones has just done it too. So everything is back into the bearish column now. And we'll, we'll have to wait and see you know, how the rest of the stuff goes. But anyway, the one, the one that looks the worst, folks, is something that we've been short for a long time. Look at the, look at the British pound today. I mean, it's just... It is under what you call house arrest, and uh, you know, it just really, uh, just really, just looks really, really bad. Uh, thank goodness we should look at this. Look at these three tops here at the 382, folks. Just look at this. This, this yesterday. Ah, oh, excuse me again. This was this morning and last night. Whew, boy, when you're not feeling good, you miss some stuff. Anyway, that's it. Uh, well. Anyway, we're but we're very this one. I think it's going to uh, 123, and we're. Wow, this is a big you – know, let's look at something we did right. This is a long-term weekly. There was a 786. There's where we sold it. There's where we hope it's going to go. I hope no – I hope no – I hope you know that hope is a very bad trading word, but sometimes you've got to explain things in a different way. But that – this is – if it gets to that level, it could be uh, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty exciting. Okay, now – Tesla. Someone's asked about Tesla. They really haven't, but I, since no one's calling in, I'm just going to BS my way. Hmm, I do that every day. See what's happening here with Tesla. Here's Tesla. See if it's holding up. Ah, Tesla's holding up, boys and girls. Look at this. This is a good sign. There's the 382 on Tesla, remember? We said watch that. And this is a 60-minute. It came within uh, uh, 20 Low was 50, 68. This might be the saving grace. I don't know, but there's your 382. Just really trying. The only thing negative about that 382 is this little puppy right here. Because on that one, you'll see we came up and we made an ABCD at the 382, right? Uh, 45%. That tells us that if you're looking down this way, oh, that's a bad thing. I got to get that out of the way. Move this up just a tiny little bit. And then you'll see, I do this all day when we do our Friday session, which we'll be doing one on the 11th, which is, uh, no, excuse me, yeah, uh, the 8th of November. And it tells us Tesla's going to go down here to 244, so it's got more to go to the downside, I would think, just like everything else does. So it doesn't look too uh, too interesting here. All right, here, I think those are the main ones. And let's check, check that old crude oil to see how it's doing because we want to, testing to see if it was going to hold that 382. I would assume that uh, it's holding. That would be my guess because we didn't get any lower than uh, 
and we're trading at it. The lowest we got here was uh, 68.95. That's within 10 points. So it looks like it's holding pretty good. So below here, not so good. Right now, it's acting okay. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to, folks. So uh, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And I'll finish up the show here in just a moment. God willing, Nancy. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I don't much to leave with you here, but I want to just tell you that uh, no matter what happens here, we're going to have great volatility and there's going to be great opportunities uh, because this is the kind of stuff where pattern recognition uh, really works pretty well. I want to get this uh, straightened up here to go over the uh, – there's a possibility, believe me, folks, there's a possibility we could still have a rally here at the end of the day. It's it's diminishing a little bit, but not by much. You see, this is the key right here, the fact that we rallied 300 points in the Dow. We only rallied 20 points in the S&P, but 300 points in the Dow is $1,500 and – 20 points in the S&P is 1,000. So this is actually doing much better. So this is the one you want to be watching to see if it's going to hold up. Now, it's not holding up on the 382, but remember, this is only half an hour that's taken this. But the first time, see, it just missed this, you know, by just a little bit. If you'd have sold that one, you already got it, $750 profit. So that's why you've got to be a parent to watch this. Remember, if you don't make the high, always shade it by enough to get in now. 
that was a sort of a Freudian slip, and I don't know who Freudian was, but I don't think he was Italian, so I'm not going to worry about it. Stick with the ABCD, folks. They'll get you to the promised land. You can see here the S&P now almost ready to make new lows on the day. Uh, that's not a good sign, and it's down over 100 handles, you know, so that's a, that's a bad sign from the high, of course. See, 57, 52, if you go back to the high we made back here, it was 5,900. We're 150 handles, folks, in two days at low operator. I mean, give me a break. If you look at this on the daily, this tells you that, you know, there's trouble in River City here. Now, missing some data. Let me get the refresh the data, and I'm going to run out of time here. I already have. Anyway, we're heading lower, boys and girls. We're going to go at least a minimum, absolute minimum. Oh. There's the, if it gets below the 382 today, folks, and takes out these lows, you're going to be looking at this, 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 or this. Probably something like this would be my guess. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, God willing, and live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and thank you for your patience, and we'll see you all on the flip side tomorrow. Okay.